Late RuPaul's Drag Race UK star Cherry Valentine once filmed a groundbreaking documentary. The hit BBC show star, who has tragically died aged 28, starred in her own programme called Gypsy Queen and Proud on BBC Three. Real name George Ward, he left the Gypsy Traveller community at just 18 years old after feeling rejected when he came out as gay. The programme shows George head home and meet with a lifelong friend as they discuss his two lives between himself and his drag alter ego. Speaking ahead of its release at the beginning of this year, George said, Watching the documentary for the first time, it made me feel a bit uncomfortable because it was so personal. He added, Gypsy Queen and Proud is about me and it's about my family and the community that I grew up in and how that has affected me during later life. During the pandemic, George worked as a frontline vaccination nurse for the NHS and had previously told no one at work about his life in drag. In 2015, George had qualified and worked as an NHS mental health nurse and since then has continued to advocate for mental health services and awareness. After the release of RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 2, in which he starred alongside performers such as Lawrence Chaney and Kitty Scott Claus, he went to work in drag. The documentary shows George's vulnerability as he becomes more comfortable merging his life as George with his life as Cherry Valentine. It was a whole different ball game showing vulnerability as George because when I'm in drag, he said previously. I can't talk about things like satire or in a comedic way and that's actually how I feel. He added, in my life, I've separated drag and me so then it's got to a point where I'm like am I different people? I just wanted to talk about something I hadn't seen talked about before. Growing up had never seen those types of conversations happen and I think, the documentary, was something I wanted to do because if I was younger and I saw something like that it maybe would have helped me feel differently about it. Is this going to change the community for LGBT travelers? Well I hope so, but I actually don't know. I don't know if their minds will change, I really hope they do and I hope that watching things like this, more people will start to speak about it openly and that in turn will change opinion or just change someone's viewpoint. His death was announced this morning after his family released a heartbreaking statement, confirming he passed away on Sunday, September 18. They said, it is with the most heart-trenching and deepest sadness to inform you that our George, Cherry Valentine, has tragically passed away. This will come as a profound shock to most people and we understand there is no easy way for this to be announced. As his family, we are still processing his death and our lives will never be the same. We understand how much he is loved and how many lives he has inspired and touched. All we ask is for your patience and your prayers in this time. We love you Georgie. November 30, 1993, September 18, 2022. Fiona Campbell, controller of BBC Three said, we are all shocked and heartbroken to hear the news of the passing of George, known to many as Cherry Valentine. A fan favorite and an inspiration to so many, we were privileged to have worked with him at BBC Three. He will be hugely missed by his many fans and friends. Our deepest sympathies are with his family and friends at this difficult time. Cherry's agent Emma Bunning said, as his agent, it goes without saying that my heart is broken. George was a truly special person with enormous talent a bright future ahead. He lit up the room, touched so many people's lives and few could forget his infectious laugh which I will miss terribly.